How to Develop Android Applications Part 3, The Remix. This is a continuation of the um, other Part 3 where I showed you how to edit and customize your application, but we ran out of time and I didn't have it, I wasn't able to show you how to edit your um, Java and customize some stuff inside of there. So that's what we're going to do inside of this tutorial right now. First, what we need to do is open up your source folder. Should look like this. Open it up. Open up your package. And open up your um, yeah, your activity right now. Your activity open up. This is your Java. This is like I said before, where you put most of your functionality for your application. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change some stuff inside of here, so um, you can see what this looks like. What we're gonna do first and foremost, we're gonna look at what's already going on. You can see that right here, the public void of the on create when. The application is created, which is shown right here on creation of the application. Set the content view or the main screen when it initially starts up to the main layout resource. So, what it's saying is that when the application is started, set the content view to the resource layout main, the main file, the main XML file in the layout folder in the resources folder. You can see it right there. That's what it's telling it right now. So whenever you start your application, whatever your um, XML looks like, that's what it's going to set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up some other stuff. So first what we need to do is set up some other stuff. <laughs> what I like to do is I'm just going to um, come over here, right click on the main XML and go to copy. You could go to new and start up a new XML file, new Android XML file. This window will pop up. And you can set up your layout, whatever you want it to be for your um, XML. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I just want to right click, go to copy, and then go to paste. Right click and paste. Or you can just do control C, control V. I uh, just wanted to show you what that looks like. Come over to paste. Your name conflict window will come up because it's saying that there's or you need to enter new file. There's already something named main XML. So we're just going to change this to something that we want. We're going to change it to something awesome. Change it to awesome, new name, click OK. Now we have two layouts. But since this one, since the awesome is just a copy of the main, and you click on it, open it up, go to the graphical view, you can see that it's the same thing. So what we're going to do is you can come over to the code and see that it's the same thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the text string. So what we need to do is change the text string. All right, now that we're inside of the strings XML file, we're going to add another string. This one we're going to do semi-manually. Not really, but <laughs> I'm too lazy. I don't like typing. So I'll just take the string, give it a name. Name equals quotation. It gives you the close quotes. And we're going to set the name of it to quote. We're gonna make it. We're gonna set it to the quote because this is gonna be a quote of what Bender would say. So then we just put the um close bracket. You can see it give us the closed string bracket inside of the XML. Now we're just gonna put our value inside of here. Um, this is gonna be kill all humans. That's what Bender like to say. That's what represents him best. Alright, cool. Now we have a new string. We have a new string named quote. And the value is kill all humans. Come and save that. Come back over to the awesome XML files. Once you open up your files, all of them will be open right here. You can see we have the main one. We have the awesome one that we just created. Now what we need to do is inside the text view we need to change the text string reference to the new one that we want to reference. And the new one is the quote. So we just put quote inside of here. Put the name, save it. Now, once we go to the graphical layout of the awesome XML, now you see kill all humans are right inside of it. Still has the same text, so we're going to change this up for the layout. All right, you can first see the text is too big. So we're going to change that to something smaller, probably 24. 
Let me see what this looks like. Go back to the graphical, and you can see that's pretty good. Let's see what will happen if we set it to something like uh, 28. Come back, graphical layout. All right, cool. You can see it's filling up the screen mighty nice. I like that. Come back to awesome. Now we need to change the color. All right, cool. We're going to make it red, so we're going to put in the, um, the color code for red. Just FF and four zeros. One, two, three, four zeros. Save that now. Now we have it in red. Ah, yes. Okay, cool. Also, what we're going to do is we're going to repeat it. Because any robot that would be screaming kill all humans would most likely say more than once. So we just copy and paste that. Copy and paste that. We're just copying the text to you. Now you can see we have multiples of them in there. And as you can see, all of the text views we have is referencing the same text inside of the text view. It's referencing the same string. And that's pulling in the same values. So you can see that we copied it. And it copied. And it's displaying it three times or as many times as you copied it. So you make sure that we save this. Okay, cool. Now what we need to do is we need to tell our application to pull up the awesome XML inside of the content view. So now what we do, we're back inside of the um the activity, and we need to tell our application to choose the awesome XML file. So what you can do is you can come right here, since you already know the name of it, just type in awesome, the name of the file and your application will start that up so we're going to start up the debug open up our um, emulator and once the emulator restarts you should see the changes that we made alright now you can see that what we just set up was in our activity the main activity for the um, application right now I guess the only activity that we have right now is that when the application is started on the creation of the application set the content view to the awesome layout resource As you can see we have the awesome layout inside the layout folder inside the resources what you can also do when you want to name it when you want to set the um when you want to set the identifier is check this out you can just type in the capital R put a period and it'll give you the hint and it'll pretty much spell it out for you so what we want to do is we what um resource do we want to pull up we want to pull up a layout resource and what layout resource do we want put another period it'll pull up all the layout resources that you can choose from so you can see they have the main and we also have awesome you can set awesome right there just like that same thing it'll come up and once you set debug it'll come up inside of debug alright and we could stop there but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it one step further and give you a little bit more functionality inside of your application right at the end of this we're gonna enter enter and we're gonna start up another one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna also have it start up a toast message first we just start off by typing in toast we're going to let the application, we're going to let the application do most of the work for us. All right, what we want to do next is make toast. So we're going to do toast.make toast, get application context. This is the text area we're going to set our main text, but we'll do that later. And then this is the duration. Inside duration, what we're going to do is toast dot duration. And you can see the duration values come up. You can set it to the length to short or long, and that just de determines how long it's going to stay on the screen. You've seen toast messages before, like when you save a file, or if you send an email, or if an alarm goes off, and it'll give you a quick, quick little toast message, like, hey, the alarm was just set, or you just changed this setting, or something like that, or you just sent the email, a little um, toast message pops up. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the text to... Bite my shiny metal. Oh, yeah, what just happened? 
I swear my touchpad is the worst. Bite my shiny metal ass. And it probably doesn't really help that I don't like typing, so I'm always looking at the keys. All right, cool. So what we have right now is we have the text. We got to put our quotes. Let it know that it's some text. Put our quotes around the text. Okay, cool. Now we have the um toast dot make toast get application context. The text is bite my shiny metal ass or whatever text you put in there. Toast length is set to long. Come down, enter one more time. We are going to then put period show and then it has it puts in the parentheses for us and then we just put semicolon save it now what we're going to do is once you set up your um send it to the debug or send it to your app send it to your emulator open up your emulator once that restarts to see what that looks like All right, once it starts up, you see right down here. Bite my shiny metal ass. Wow, that fast. Okay, cool. In the um future tutorial, I'll show you how to set it where you can change the position by changing the gravity. And that's just adding some code inside of here. But we'll get more in depth with the toast messages. What we just learned was how to change the on create of the application to set a different content view. To whatever we choose and we also learn how to um, set up a toast message with basic text and it shows up inside of our emulator when you start up your application in the next tutorial what I'm going to show you how to do is um, actually export your application sign it zip align it and also how to um, put it on the web so you can publish it and share it with whoever you want to install your application if you like this tutorial um, like I said before, comment, subscribe, share it with as many people as you can, post it on your Facebook wall, get the word out, um, and just wait for the next tutorial. It'll be coming up soon. I'm going to try not to have as many delays in the process as I can, but until then, make some applications.